Today kicks off a very busy weekend for groups of cyclists as they hit the road for a cause. The Alzheimer's Association Ride to End All South Carolina is an annual fundraising event to beat Alzheimer's and dementia. Our Tiana Maxwell is here in studio with us this morning. So Tiana, you watch as those bikers hopped on the bus to head to their first stop in Simpsonville. What can we expect here at the finish line here in the low country when they come back on Sunday? Katie Shelby starting today 400 cyclists will ride 257 miles over the course of the weekend to raise thousands of dollars for Alzheimer's disease and dementia. The ride to end all South Carolina is a three day ride making stops from Simpsonville to Newberry, Newberry to Orangeburg and finally Orangeburg to Mount Pleasant on Sunday. The ride supports disease research for treatment and prevention of Alzheimer's and dementia. Association officials say this year's group of riders raised over $1 million alone. According to the Alzheimer's Association, the state ranks eighth nationwide for disease mortality rates. The state sees 112,000 South Carolinians 65 and older are living with the disease. The ride started back in 2009 and association leaders say the ride started with 20 cyclists and raised $16,000. I spoke to Dan Ripley, a veteran rider of the fundraiser. Ripley tells me he started riding back in 2011 and after his father passed away from Alzheimer's just one year before. Ripley says he supports the association as they assist patients and caregivers. He wants to do what he can to help find a cure for people that are currently suffering from the disease. I've always had a heart for service and um, when you're out there on the road it's really hot. It uh, can be a little miserable at times climbing hills and but just having knowing that you're helping other people and that the funds that we're raising are going towards such an important cause. It kind of helps you block all that misery out and just focus on the, on the good. Association officials say it is an important time to support the cause as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration recently approved a treatment for mild stages of the disease. Officials are excited to make an even bigger impact in treatment efforts. I'm told it's not too late to continue supporting the ride. You can find more information on how to make a difference under this web story at live5news.com.